Hey guys, welcome back to Shine Like a Diamond. I am Shine and Merry Merry Christmas. Um, these are filmed before um, Christmas time, obviously, so that we can have it up and ready and out for you guys to watch all literally all day Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, which um, a big thanks goes out to Pippa for putting this together and organizing this. Um, it's a lot of work, but I think that it definitely pays off because so many people uh, that don't have a place to go, uh, family to be with, this is, you know, getting together with your YouTube family. So I appreciate it. Um, more than you know, I mean, who knows what I'll be doing for Christmas with, you know, health limitations and all that stuff too. So I'm super excited um, to watch all the premieres and this one. So <laughs> I already filmed this one and I thought I had uploaded all the videos that I had filmed. I was wrong and I deleted all of the videos. So I'm trying to now recreate the same video, which if you've ever tried to do that, it's not easy. So we're just gonna go with it and hopefully it all works out. Um, and I hope that you guys uh, can enjoy it and you know, get it maybe get a little bit of a laugh on or whatever you need um, this fine Christmas evening. You've probably, most of you have probably already done like, you know, most of your unwrapping and your family get togethers and stuff by now because it's Christmas at, you know, Christmas night, seven o'clock here for me, I believe. Um, and, uh, so it's definitely like the, you know, like the calm down after all the hoopla. So, um, I was excited to go at this time because it, it is, it's kind of just like the chill, relax, sit back, you know, um, kind of just chill out from the busy day that can be Christmas. Uh, so I am working on <clears throat> Christmas King Charles. Here is the little thumbnail. Is that not like the cutest thing ever? I already finished one um, like Christmas winter one and I really wanted to do another one. And when I chose this one, it's because this one is only 51 by 51. So it's not super big and um, all the background is white. So when I got it, I thought it might be a partial possibly because it could have been and it would have looked fine but it's not a partial, so like the whole background is just white. So that area goes pretty quickly um, because you're using one color and I, I like to multi-place as you can see. So it, it tends to go pretty quickly for me. Um, one heads up is I am uh, still at the coffee table right now filming. So yes, you will have the camera jiggle a little bit like this when if you saw that on the camera, it jiggles because I move, I touch the table, whatever it is, and it, the camera is attached to the table. The table has springs on it. It jiggles. All right. Okay. You also might hear some funny sounds in the background um, that maybe sound like a coffee, like percolating or um, somebody passing gas and that is also um it's just my wound vac machine so i promise you i'm not sitting here farting up a storm as i talk to you on this christmas day <laughs> like that would be a thing wouldn't it however i would do it if it was if it would make anybody happier or laugh or whatever but i'm gonna turn the light off and see if like oh you can't see it any better okay i was gonna see if you could see the actual picture but it's pretty hidden under my um my towers there uh let's see if i can pull it down just a little bit look at that face is that not the cutest face ever and in this one this is the first time um that i've had a canvas from bac do this i don't know if it's the first canvas they've done this with i i think it might be though because i haven't heard anybody else say anything like this but um the black, which is just on his nose and his eyes. Let's see if I can, oops, I'm so sorry. Bonk, de bonk, bonk. So the nose and the eyes um, are black and they came, where's the black? Here it is. They are the black ABs. So I'm really interested to find out like how that's gonna, gonna look. Um, the other thing I'm, 
y'all know I like to customize my diamond paintings, right? And this one, I have had a hard time figuring out, like, what I want to do as far as, cu like, customizing it. Because I don't, I might not uh, customize it. Because I don't, I don't know where I would customize it. Because it looks so, I don't know, it just looks so good as is. And it, I mean, it's a 51 by 51, but has four different ABs. Um, and there's just, yeah, they're just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still one, like, I might go back and pull some out, like, some drills out and put some, like, crystals in there or uh, some quads. I don't know. I, I honestly just, I can't. I can't figure it out so that might be my sign that I might just want to leave it the way it is um who knows but we will see I should be done with this area fairly quickly because again like I said it's just the white and um the white doesn't have as much issues like drill wise as a uh, black one so if like this was a black background which are definitely more more common than white um those ones have a lot more issues a lot more knobbly bits a lot more uh, just a lot of things and however though um the last kit i did the drills were like immaculate they were amazing and that was on magical tree and i was i was shocked at how like perfect the drills were and it was a square um I've been on kind of a a square kick lately and I was actually gonna do the snowman after um the other one that I just finished however looking at the snowman it it definitely could be just like a winter painting whereas this one is definitely like a Christmas painting you know it's the red and the and he has his little Santa outfit and hat on and everything so um, I thought I would do this one now because because of all the white and the size, I'm hoping and I'm pretty much sure I will have it done by Christmas. And um, the snowman, it just I could easily do that like January, February here in Spokane because it is it's those are winter months here still. And um, so that's kind of how I decided on the ones I'm doing. Um, I also have the dragon one, uh, Christmas one, and uh, that one will have to wait till next year because there's just there's no way that I could do them all. Uh, even if I like just that's all I did was diamond paint, I still don't think I'd be able to get them all done because you know they're not all tiny little paintings. So, um, but. The snowman is around, and I was kind of um, looking forward to working on around again. Uh, then I decided to do this one, and it's square. And I tell you, though, like, I love my squares. I really, really do. I used to not um, care, really, if it was a square or a round. But I am definitely, and, and I still don't. Like, I'm still going to go by the... Uh, the picture that is on the can, like the you know the canvas, the picture of it. That's how I'll base like what I'm gonna work on or what I'm gonna buy. But um, I'm I'm definitely more prone to uh, squares these days. Like I just I don't know. I love multi placing, and I find it easier to multi place with the squares. Um, they just they line up nicely. They they just work better, I kind of feel, than the rounds do. So, I'm also uh, using pink wax, my friends. Pink wax. Because I ran out. I have a shipment coming in, but it's not here yet. And um, I use glue dots for my single placer. But yeah, my um, multi-placer, I didn't have anything. And except for I have some um, patty wax, but it's not for multi placers either. So uh, I'm suffering with the pink wax, guys. But you know, it's not that bad, to be honest. I think the most annoying thing to me, though, with the pink wax 
is that it comes off and gets on your canvas. Um, I haven't had that problem with the blue or the white. So it, it was like, I, I, I guess I didn't even know that or remember that the pink did that because it's been so long, so long since I have used pink wax. Like I, before this, I don't think I've used it. Well, I take that back. I did use it for a challenge that we did in the Hannah, Hannah um in April, but it was like a 20 minute challenge and we were supposed to use pink wax. Other than that, like I have not used it. I gotta grab another bag of whites. Um, and so, yeah. Okay, sorry to move you around. Look at all this though, you guys, look at all this. It's like, yeah, it's a lot, a lot of white. All right, where are my scissors at? Where you at, scissors? Where you at? Uh, there we go. All right, so I don't even remember what I was talking about. Because <laughs> that's, you know, how I roll. So, um, sorry, my nose is, like, I, my allergies have been really acting up lately, and I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's, like, dust in the house, because it's not being like dusted or vacuumed as often. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but because my husband is nice and vacuums every once a week for me. Um because that's something I can't do right now, obviously. It drives me crazy. But you know it is what it is. But I don't know if that's what it is or if it's just something else. Normally I have fall allergies, but once winter hits I don't seem to have them as bad. But it just drives me crazy because I'm one of those overreactor, worst case scenarios things sometimes. And so when I get a sore throat, I'm like, oh crap, I'm, it must be COVID. Like, like there's no other germs out there anymore. It's all COVID. Like, like you know, you couldn't be, have, you couldn't just get a cold or like a sore throat or strep or and the flu. You know, there's so many things out there still that like, I'm, and I, I know it's not just me. Um that does this it's like you just jump to that conclusion you know that it's gonna be because it's just so talked about and it's everywhere and like my son jokes around if you cough um or anything he's like covid <laughs> like that's what he does he just says it covid um and yeah if you cough in public it's like the plague everybody just like backs up it's like yeah people can still cough like people can still have asthma and cough um, so it's kind of funny, but, um, I have something that we're going to do in this video. Normally this would be like a little more fun during a live. However, I still think it will be fun and hopefully you guys can, um, enjoy it during this, uh, premiere. And I'm hoping that I will be able to be in the chat the whole time. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with that fun. <music> Like I said, I think this would have been really fun to do live, but we're going to go for it anyways. So basically, um, <clears throat> I'm going to give you guys a quote from a movie and um, see, you know, if anybody can get it. A lot of these are, um, like these are, I picked quotes that were pretty known I guess you could say I tried really hard to pick ones that were either like had been around a long time and like everybody knows and some of the newer you know movies and so there's a little bit of everything in here and yeah let's see let's see who knows the most now because obviously I'm not live so I can't be like looking talking and reading chat while I do this um so basically I'll give you the quote and, um, I might say, like, a thing or two about it. I don't know. Um, and then I will, you'll, we'll see. We'll just get into it. But, um, what, the reason I wanted to do this was because I feel like Christmas, to me, 
it, my light pad just went up, sorry. Um, Christmas, I mean, there's so many things that I absolutely love about Christmas time. Um, but one of those things is Christmas movies. It is tradition in our house and like almost every house to watch Christmas movies during, you know, Christmas season. Um, whether those be like Hallmark, you know, sappy Christmas movies or, you know, the old black and white Christmas movies, um, like the classics and the new ones. Like there's just so many out there I absolutely love and I watch them every single Christmas season. Like the same ones. Um, like there's one that I usually watch first and it's called The Heart of Christmas and it is one of my favorite movies. Um, it is one of those you definitely like need a, a tissue or a box or two of Kleenex. Um, it's about this family who's, and it's a true story, um, about this little boy who, um, it gets diagnosed with cancer and it takes you on their journey um, to St. Jude and going through like all of that process. Uh, and also on the side, there's a family played by Candace Cameron Bray, um, also known as DJ from Full House. She plays the wife of, um, of a husband and two kids that have really kind of just fallen apart. They don't spend time together. They don't, um, go to church anymore. There's just, a, there was a lot that like, you know, was going wrong. Anyways, they were out trick or treating and saw, and, and they went to a different neighborhood for, I can't remember why. Anyways, and the whole neighborhood was literally decorating for this little boy named Dax. And because he wasn't going to make it till Christmas and he loved Christmas. So, she goes and asks them, like, why are you guys decorating for Christmas? And they say, um, go read her blog because um, the mom kept a blog. Anyways, true story. Very, very good. Um, heartwarming, but also sad at the same time. Um, but I just, I don't know, I love it. And it's a good movie. It's a good reminder to cherish what we do have and the people we have in our lives because, you know, there's just so much things that could go negatively. So, um, it's a good reminder, but anyways, it's one of my favorites. Um, also we, you know, I always want to watch, I, I don't want to name them all because like a lot of them are what, what I'm going to be showing you today. So, um, a reading you today. So <laughs> with that being said, let's go ahead and do the first quote. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. So this obviously is one of like the most commonly known phrase that we all should know by now. I watch this movie every single year and it is one of my all-time favorite movies. It's so good um, and it just leaves you feeling all like warm and happy inside and just like filled with the Christmas um, spirit, I guess you could say. So of course, this is A Wonderful Life. The next phrase is, seeing isn't believing, believing is seen. This particular movie, I remember going and actually seeing it at the theater. Um, it was so funny that my dad literally was still laughing um, next morning at breakfast time. Uh, there, but what I remember was driving home and thinking, and I was, I don't know how old I was, maybe 12, way too old to be thinking, is Santa real? Like, is there, is there a Santa? Like, could there really be a Santa? Like, I remember looking up in the sky and like thinking those thoughts. It wasn't even Christmas Eve, but like, <laughs> that is one of the like vivid memories I have of this movie. But we also, this is one of the movies that we watch every single year. We usually watch it on Thanksgiving um, night and it is just become a tradition. So of course, this is the Santa Claus. Seeing isn't believing, believing is seeing. Kids don't have to see this place to know that it's here. They just know. 
The next quote is, this Christmas, the season of perpetual hope. So she says this in a way that's very angry and mad and she's had enough um, and is just trying to cling on to that last little bit that she has left. Um, I think I've seen this movie just this year probably four times. It's hilarious. It's fun. Me and the kids watch it and kind of count how many times like would they have actually died <laughs> during this movie and then they just they just get up and keep on going. And of course this movie is none other than Home Alone. No, no, wait. This is Christmas. The season of perpetual hope. Mammoth. And I don't care if I have to get out on your runway and hitchhike. If it cost me everything I own. So this next one, I'll be honest, I haven't watched in quite a while. I remember watching it as a kid every single year, but for whatever reason, as I've grown up, it just wasn't one of the ones that I particularly like wanted to see every single year. Um, it still is a classic Christmas movie that if you haven't seen it, I definitely, definitely um, would go out and see it because it's a classic. There are some movies that you just have to see because it's a classic. I think that's the only reason that you need to see this movie. But the saying is, oh, Christmas just isn't a day. It's a frame of mind. And this is Miracle on 34th Street. This isn't just a day. It's a frame of mind. The next quote is, what if Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store? What if Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more? This quote, I, I, this movie, okay? I, this is like my movie. I bought this when I was a teenager. I bought a, the VHS of the movie, brought it with me to Thanksgiving, and right after we ate dinner, we all watched this movie. This is the one where Jim Carrey plays the main role, and... It, it just, it cracks me up like no other Christmas movie can. I don't know why. I've seen it already, like, where I've actually put it on and watched it. It was, like, wasn't on just TV or whatever three times. I absolutely love it. And, of course, this movie is Dr. Seuss, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And, like I said, this is the one where Jim Carrey plays the Grinch and um, the story is, it's a little bit more than just your basic, like, the Grinch ran around and stole Christmas. It's, you know, Cindy Lou Who, she's trying to figure out what Christmas is about and um, goes, visits the Grinch, wants him to come down for their their little party and um, it is, it's just hilarious. If you haven't seen it, highly, highly recommend it. Christmas, he thought. Doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. one I think if you know like obviously there are shoot I don't even know I know that they came out with a new Grinch Stole Christmas um maybe a year ago two years ago or something I haven't seen that one um and there's a ton of different variations of this movie and I've seen a lot of them but this one is my favorite I love Jim Carrey he is hilarious he just manages to make everything so funny, like this part where he is realizing that Christmas is more than just presents and gifts and 
you know, trees and everything else. And so, you know, he is growing his, obviously he cannot play, you know, a ton of the movie. Um, but he's, his heart is growing. And, uh, during that he acts like he's having a heart attack, <laughs> which it just, yeah. And then, um, after that he says, um, uh, that he's feeling and then he's like, he has tears coming out of his eyes and he says, um, and I'm leaking <laughs> like he's never cried before ever. <laughs> oh, it just cracks me up. I don't know. The way he talks and goes about the role, the whole movie I laugh at. Um, like I have the whole movie memorized and I, I it just, I don't know. It's definitely a fan favorite of mine. Okay, so this one is, you'll shoot your eye out, kid. Um, the scene is Santa is talking to a child. And I'll be honest, I haven't seen this movie. This is also one of those classic movies that I think, I feel like everybody has seen, except for me. Um, so, so I might try to go and watch it this week uh, because it looks, just by the parts that I was working on this video, um, and everything, it looks pretty funny, and, um, it looks like this little kid who plays the main role, um, is a funny character. So, this movie is A Christmas Story. Because I have not seen this movie, I don't really know what it's about, so I would love to hear your thoughts and, and comments, um, not only in the chat right now, but in the comments below. Um, is this one that is worth going and finding and watching? You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Merry Christmas. So I'm not sure why I had a hard time with uh, this particular clip, but in the beginning, what he's saying, the kid, in case you ha you also haven't seen this movie, um, he is basically saying really fast. Um, what he wants for Christmas. So I don't know if he like changes his mind as he's leaving. I don't know. It looks like he's also on like a slide or something. I don't know. I don't know what is going on in this scene. Um, but I know that this is like one of those sayings that like people say and, and know from the movie. Um, but yeah, I, I still, like I said, would love to know your opinions on if it's, a, if it's worth watching or, um, is it just, you know, waste the time the next saying i never thought it was such a bad little tree it's not bad at all really maybe it just needs a little love this movie is from a charlie brown christmas this one is also one of those like iconic classic movies that everybody has seen um and i haven't seen it in a while to be honest with you but like I remember growing up um, in like elementary school and having them play this like over and over. Like that was like one of the movies that we watched uh, in school about Christmas time. And like I don't remember what else I watched it um, really but, but then. But I still like remember all of it and everybody jokes about the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. You know, like, oh, that that's definitely a Charlie Brown tree. You know, <laughs> everybody's got their jokes about it. But, um, yes, I love this part of the movie, though. It's so sweet. I never thought it was such a bad little tree. It's not bad at all, really. Maybe it just needs a little love. The first Christmas I had away from home um when I moved out that first year I was uh 18 years old and me and my best friend shared a apartment um I was allergic to real trees well I am allergic to real trees and she had always got a real tree but her trees were always like like they would get them off of their land and they didn't have the best trees we'll just say that she always joked that she had like a Charlie Brown tree and um but I never felt like I did except for that first year um living on our own because we 
Um, my mom had given us my um, grandma on my dad's side uh, her old Christmas tree. And it was like just like a like two or three foot tree. Really, really small. Um, and it definitely had seen better days. Um, but we didn't have any money to go out and buy a tree, a fake tree. Um, you know, they're... <laughs> Fake trees are expensive. I mean, you definitely get your money's worth because it lasts a long time. And, like, real trees, you know, to get a nice real tree, you're going to spend 50 bucks or something. At least that's how it used to be, I know. Um, and we got our tree for uh, $30. It was over $300 originally priced, but we got it after Christmas. And um, it had some of the, the pre-lit lights weren't working so they gave us a discount it was a model a floor model so they gave us a discount uh because it didn't come with like a box and it was like sold as as is so yeah we got a seven foot beautiful tree uh for thirty dollars uh when it was originally over three hundred dollars now that was back in 2007 i want to say or eight um, when we got that tree. So it's it's definitely getting a little bit older, but it still um, it still serves its purpose. The needles fall off more, but I definitely would not would not call it a Charlie Brown tree. The only year I can say I felt like I kind of had a Charlie Brown Christmas tree was um, that that first year in our apartment. And our apartment, I mean, it was like a small like it yeah it was a cheap apartment and i remember you could it was like the one place in town that you could go and rent from and have absolutely no credit or have really bad credit uh so yeah it was known as like the starter apartment because you could get a little bit of renters you know history under your belt there because they didn't need they just i don't know why they didn't um they just didn't and it was, it was inexpensive, but it was close to my job. It was, you know, it was it definitely what I would consider, um, a kind of like a party apartment, so which wasn't that great for somebody like me that had just moved out and had, you know, freedom for the first time, and then these apartments had, you know, people partying all the time. And I'm just really glad that I, you know, I didn't have any major issues with that. And neither did my, either did my friend. So, um, worst thing happened, we, I got a hundred bucks stole from me because I was a little too trusting of everybody, which I still am. And actually me and my daughter were talking about that tonight about like, you know, being too trusting is not the best quality. Now it's great to trust people and give people a chance, but being too trusting uh, can definitely put you in some bad positions. Um, and I've had those in my life, which that was one of them. And um, yeah, she's this woman um, girl. She was coming over, hanging out with us, and yeah, she took it right out of my purse. And uh, I also had like lent, uh, I don't know. It was just, it was a, it was an odd time in my life. And then I, to add on top of that, we had our Charlie Brown Christmas tree that year. The next quote, strange, isn't it? Each man's life touches so many others. When he isn't around, he leaves an awful hole, doesn't he? So this is a quote from one of the movies that I already have. Um, showed you, but I really like this quote. Um, I This movie just has a lot of good messages. And of course, this is again, The Wonderful Life, or It's a Wonderful Life. Um, and it, it's really true when you think about it, how you, just one person, if they weren't there, how many people would that affect? You don't really think about it, you know, but when you, when you do so have to think about it, I mean, it affects because you affect people and, and all your life you come in contact with different people. And who knows like what one little thing could have changed someone else's entire life by you not being there. And this movie 
is, you know, it's really good to show that. So it's definitely one of those movies that, like, leaves you with a lot of good messages. Um, and, I don't know, it's just a good movie all around. All around, highly suggest. Strange, isn't it? Each man's life touches so many other lives. When he isn't around, he leaves an awful hole, doesn't he? On to the next one, it's Christmas Eve. It's the one night of the year when we all act a little nicer. We smile a little easier, we cheer a little more. I just watched this movie maybe, I think, three nights ago. And it might not be an as popular movie as a lot of the ones that I have quoted. However, this movie, I remember watching, like, I mean, I've watched it every year for quite a while, and I think it's a really, really good movie. Like, it's funny. There's, it's definitely a little more of an adult movie um, because of some of the content. However, it's still a great Christmas movie, and that movie is Scrooged. It's the one night of the year when we all act a little nicer. We, we, we smile a little easier. We, 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 we cheer a little more. For a couple of hours out of the whole year, we are the people that we always hoped we would be. It's a miracle. It's really a sort of a miracle because it happens every Christmas Eve. This next one, I suppose it all started with the snow, you see. It was a very special kind of snow, a snow that made the happy happier and the giddy even giddier. Uh, this one is definitely uh, a child's movie cartoon it's not very long um but it's still one that i even as an adult i watch every year because it's nostalgic it brings me back it's not a long movie um but it's cute and yeah it brings me back to being a kid and i think a lot of our memories of christmas um involve being a kid and that's kind of what makes christmas so special um, I know some of it's like cheesy about like, oh, Christmas spirit and all that kind of stuff. But like, it's true. That's what makes my Christmases so happy is seeing my kids make those same memories that I did as a kid. And we're talking about snow here. So yes, I am talking about Frosty the Snowman. Magic to the very first snow, especially when it falls on the day before Christmas. For when the first snow was also a Christmas snow, <laughs> well, something wonderful is bound to happen. This next one is a movie I haven't watched a lot. Um, I've definitely seen it a few times. Uh, I've watched it with the kids a few times, and it's one I probably watch every few years. Um, it's beautifully done and made though um and it's a whole new like idea on a christmas movie and that movie is the polar express just remember the true spirit of christmas lies in your heart This next movie, literally, like, I don't even need to announce it necessarily. Everybody has seen this Christmas movie. And most people watch it once a year. It's on TV. And we sing it. And it is one of the one. I, I'm just going to play it for you. Um, I can't play the whole thing, obviously, because of copyright issues. But here you go. I am, of course, talking about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. One foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you go down in history. Okay, so this next one, I know we've already seen a clip from it, but it is literally one of my favorite um, newer movies that have come out. I can't remember what year it actually came out. It's been out for quite a few years now, but it's still like what I would consider newer. It's not like an old classic from when I was a kid. And it stars Will Ferrell, so you know you're in for a good time. And here is one of those times where... I just cannot help but burst out laughing. And of course, I am talking about Elf. 
I planned out our whole day. First, we'll make snow angels for two hours. Then we'll go ice skating. Then we'll eat a whole roll of to Toll House cookie dough as fast as we can. And then we'll snuggle. And of course, I can't do it nearly as good as he can. So here you go. So, Dad, I planned out our whole day. First, we'll make snow angels for two hours, and then we'll go ice skating, and then we'll eat a whole roll of Toll House cookie dough as fast as we can, and then, to finish, we'll snuggle. I I've got to go to work, buddy. Oh, and, and, and if you're going to be staying here, you should think about you know, getting rid of the costume. But I've worn this my whole life. You're not in the North Pole any longer. Look, at you want to make me happy, don't you? More than anything. Then lose the tights. I mean, as soon as possible. As soon as possible. As soon as possible. Okay. All right, we are going to end on this last note. <laughs> um, I amused myself, I know. Anyways, we're going to end on this last one because... For the past few years, this one has definitely been one of my all-time favorite movies and definitely watch it with the kids more than once in the Christmas season and I highly suggest you do the same if you just want a fun, loving, uh, hilarious movie to watch. And of course, yes, I am still talking about the movie Elf. So here you go and you're welcome. Way to spread Christmas cheer singing loud for all to hear. <laughs> you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to He's town. making a list. Checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Still no sign of Santa, but some spontaneous Christmas caroling has broken out right here in front of Central Park. Let's have a listen in. when you're sleeping, he knows if you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for it that is the whole portion of the movies I just like I wanted to do something a little bit different than just a normal whip and chat and yak at you guys you know bore some of you probably to tears <laughs> like so I wanted to do something a little bit fun and honestly the reason I chose to do this kind of a movie I mean this kind of a um video is because Christmas movies play such a huge role in the Christmas season for me. And I know I'm not the only one. How many of you like just want to go and get under a cozy blanket, have a fire on if you have one, 
and buy your Christmas tree and watch good old Christmas movies. Hallmark Christmas movies, classic Christmas movies, newer Christmas movies, funny Christmas movies. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a daily thing here in our house. And it's not just this year when I'm not able to do anything else. It is every year um, that Christmas movies are playing. And... Christmas, you know, even the old ones, like, like I was, I showed the Frosty the Snowman. I love Frosty the Snowman. Like, how can, it might be a very kid, made for kid movie, but if you grew up watching it, it's that nostalgia that you get, you know, from watching it. The only one that I am, like, ser seriously get disappointed um, about is Rudolph, because Rudolph, um, that's a hard one to watch because it's like 20 bucks, I think, or something. You can't rent it. You have to buy it. I have not been able to find it anywhere cheaper. Um, and I just can't, I can't afford that. So that's the only one that like, I was bummed out this year. I was like, I can't, you know, can't watch it. But I mean, I've seen it numerous, numerous times. So, um, you know, this it's not that big a deal, but yeah, I loved watching it when I was a kid. And one of my favorite Christmas moments as a kid um, was, I don't remember how old, I, don't, I have no idea how old I was, but we were at, we used to go to my dad's side of the family on Christmas Eve. And then we would go to my mom's side of the family Christmas Day. And that's just, like, what we did all of my life as a child. And um, so we were, it was Christmas Eve, we were at my grandma's house, and she had this tiny, tiny little house. I mean, it was like, I, I don't even, th I don't even know if it was quite 700 square feet, to be honest. Like, when I think about how big, like, square footage-wise, um, it was, it was just this tiny house and it was a one bedroom. Um, the living room and the dining room kind of were like one in a way. Um, and we had just, you know, eaten dinner, had dessert. We were going to do presents. Um, and we were watching this movie. Um, the, I mean the Rudolph, we were watching Rudolph. It was on TV and we watched it. And then me and my cousins, um, we, there was this big window in the living room and there was another window in my grandma's bedroom. And we were running back and forth from these windows, looking up in the sky for Santa. And one year we swear we saw him. Like we, we were like 100% sure we saw him. Of course, now it's obviously looking back, it was probably just like a plane um, or something, but it's just that fun memory of like believing in something. <clears throat> Excuse me. I also found out pretty early um, that, you know, about Santa just because my sister was really, I don't know, she was very smart, paid attention to things, and she found that the... Um, uh, handwriting on the presents were the same as from Santa as they were from mom and dad. So that's how I found out um, because she asked. She was like, wait a minute. And, you know, my parents didn't lie to her when she when she asked, um, which I feel is, is somewhat important um, for certain children. Like Alex, he we found, we told him pretty early because he was the type of child that would have been really upset if um you know if we hadn't told him like if he felt like we lied to him he would have been upset by that and so we told him um when he asked I cannot remember how old he was but um you know we still to this day I write from Santa on gifts and my mom gives us things that says from Santa because, you know, Santa stops at her house and my grandma and all those. So we all still, um, you know, do say and write things from Santa. Do we leave Christmas cookies out for Santa? Yes, we do. Um, have every single year. It, it just, 
it's a fun thing. Um, you know, it's just part of, I don't know, it's just part of the fun. Uh, but of course, like, we want to focus on the real meaning of Christmas. You know, Jesus' birth, spending time together, being thankful for what we have. And, um, yeah, last year was the first year that we, you know, that I didn't spend with my entire family. Um, I've lived in town where all my family is all of my life. And so, you know, to have Christmas without everybody, it was really, really weird. Um, my mom and dad and grandma came over to open presents. And so, and my sister, I'm not sure what my sister, I think my sister was with her husband's family. Um, but you know, with COVID and everything, we had to be really careful. And my grandma, um, you know, she's in her eighties and has congestive heart failure. And while she's very healthy for a person in her eighties with congestive heart failure, like, you know, if she got sick, um, it just would not be, not be good. So, uh, you know, we wanted to keep it small. And then this year, I'm not sure. I'm hoping I get to go to all of the festivities that my family is um, doing. We're not all getting together um, at one time. Again, we're trying to be smart about it with COVID. And also, it is too much for my grandma to be around everybody. It's just too much. Um, and when I say everybody, I mean the younger kids and everybody else because... The younger kids, you know, it's just, they're hyper, they're running around, they're screaming, they're, they're just a little out of control. So, we, um, we're gonna go to Christmas, um, brunch at my sister's new house. They bought a new house this year, moved in, oh man, early summer, huge, really beautiful house, and she really wants to, you know, uh, show everybody and um so we are doing christmas brunch or christmas eve brunch at her house and uh we will it celebrate my grandma's birthday as well as open presents from my grandma then um on christmas day we will go to my mom's house and we will have like appetizers type thing we're not going to do a full sit down meal and it will just be me um, and my family and my sister and her family um, and my mom and dad. And I don't know if my aunt will be there or not. But anyways, so I'm hoping that like, I, I don't know, I'm hoping everything works out um, because my fevers tend to kind of go up as soon as I'm active or doing things Um and I get wiped out so easily. And it's so frustrating. So frustrating. Um, and I didn't get to go to Thanksgiving. I know the light kind of makes it not be able to see. You can't really see it as well what I'm doing. But you know what? That's okay. You don't need to see me just putting down these white um, <laughs> these white drills. Uh, but it, without the light, I can't really see. I couldn't see to get them... When they're a little farther away from me, you know, I like to get my whites straight, which is why I do single placing for the first, like, outline of it. And then I can get that really straight, um, which then helps keep the whole section really straight. Just a little tip there. Anyway, so yeah, for Thanksgiving, I had a fever and I couldn't go, which, you know, was not fun because I had to stay home. The kids... My husband and the kids went. Of course, they brought me food home, but it's just not the same. And and I try to keep a positive attitude about it. But with Christmas, I would definitely be disappointed um, if I didn't get to do all of the things. And the other thing is, is I change my wound vac on Friday morning. Uh, almost almost always in the morning, um, they the, my nurses come. And so that's the other thing I'm kind of concerned about. I got to talk to my nurses because I don't want to miss, you know, the brunch because I'm, you know, having my appointment. Like, I don't know. So I went ahead and talked to them. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. But, um, 
Oh goodness. Anyways, this, this, uh, I'm going to have to, I got to turn it off here in a second. I will go check and see the time. Um, I don't want to go over obviously my 60 minutes. I want to, if I can even give you a, a couple extra minutes to go and, you know, get, get yourself some extra dessert, go to the bathroom, do whatever you want to do before coming back and watching the next person. Um, I don't know who is next? The schedule changes off and on um, with trying to get people in where they want to be at. So I don't know right now who is um, after me, but I will put that in the description and um, there will be a list, a playlist that will just take you right through all of um, all of the premieres, which again, Pippa, thank you so much for organizing and um i will show you everything i've done here real quick on this beautiful adorable one so i am completely in love with these colors look how beautiful these this red is just absolutely gorgeous um and these the circles on it like are completely a b not right here because obviously that's the handle, but like they, yeah, hundred percent ABs and there's two different color ABs, which I thought was pretty cool, um, on them. And then the handle, there's also some ABs and the cookies. They're just, everything is so vibrantly bright. And I absolutely love that. Now, after I finish some of it, I am going, to, I, I had, I had an idea that, um, one of my creator friends, Jennifer, um, gave me an idea and I'm going to figure out how I want to do it. And, uh, cause I love to customize my paintings like I was talking about. So I am really excited to figure out, um, how I'm going to go about doing this, uh, cre you know, do changing it up a little bit and adding, adding a little funness to it. So, um, but let me go check on so that time. We are just about out of time. We have a couple minutes left. But like I said, um, I wanted to try to get you guys a little bit of time to go. Maybe go to the bathroom, get a snack, whatever you want to do. So we are going to end it here, you guys. Merry Christmas. I hope you've had a wonderful holiday season. And I hope you got to spend lots of time with your family eating good foods. Um and everything else. So Merry Christmas. And don't forget, as always, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and you are definitely, definitely loved more than you know. So keep on shining and I'll see you later. Bye guys. Thank you for watching and if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon so you can be notified anytime I put up a new video.